Welcome to your daily five for Monday, June 29th, 2020. I am your host, Bruce Frazier. We are going to talk about the gold mining shares today, but let's start with a look at the gold futures. Here is a chart, monthly data going back to 2001. Beautiful uptrend, climactic with the test, sets up a large range bound condition, reaccumulation that has been in place since 2013. In 2018, in August, I wrote a blog which showed that gold had pulled back, this is the futures, had pulled back to important support. I want you to go back, look at that blog, August of 2018, you can link into this chart and keep an eye on it. But look at the very large uptrend that has occurred since August of 2018. Now gold is up against its 2011, 2012 resistance area. So this would be a place where we may expect a pause, but also we clear this area and it's going to confirm that a new bull market is taking place for gold. And gold's been in a dramatic uptrend really ever since. So let's look at the gold shares. Here is the gold miners ETF, GDX is the symbol. It's in a reaccumulation structure since 2016. This was concluded with a shakeout move that occurred into the March lows, big liquidity event, which was reversed dramatically into an important launch out of the reaccumulation area. Now there's been a backup and an attempt to rally off of that. More work may need to be done here, but you can see the resistance of the old highs of 2016 have now been exceeded. You also note the relative strength. The relative strength has been in a downtrend really since 2016. This is why we avoid stocks that are in relative strength downtrends to the S&P 500. They just can't get out of their own way because institutions are not getting positive feedback from owning them. So here, look what's happened since that August 2018 low the gold mining shares have been in a beautiful relative strength uptrend and now are starting to accelerate. Very exciting because we can now take a point and figure count of this whole area. So looking at the swing trading count, horizontal method, the Wyckoff horizontal method, we can see that there is this large area we just looked at on the prior chart and counting, taking the conservative count, one box scaling, one box method, we have 38 columns. One point scaling, 38 columns is 38 points. We want to flag that and we can see that this gives us a count potential of 55 to 62 and we're just now at $35 and are gently backing up against prior resistance, which is classic condition of the completion of accumulation. We can also see that the account could become much larger. Also, the volume has been quite low on the pullback. This is a classic example of absorption. Here is a monthly chart of GDX gold miners. Here is classic distribution, 2009 to 2012 results in a downtrend. Look at this beautiful channel, oversold here, attempt to rally through it, test, test here. Now very large accumulation structure, relative strength has been down against the S&P on a monthly basis since 2011, but now look what's starting to happen. The relative strength is starting to walk uphill. This is a sign of early leadership and the price of the gold miners are up, up and out of this accumulation structure. 
Well, very large point and figure across here. You can see that this count has huge potential. Can't count it today. We're running short on time. But again, another example of how volume has been very low on the final stages of testing before the breakout. Here are the junior gold miners. There are many interesting junior gold mining stocks at this time. Big shakeout. We will uh, look at the gold miners on power charting and in the Wyckoff power charting blog at a future date. But also notice that the relative strength is rising here. So GDX junior gold miners are in a leadership position to the S&P. This is also a very good sign of speculation when the juniors start to uh, come into a leadership position. Newmont Corp is the largest gold miner. They have a huge institutional following. The institutions will buy this stock first when they want to own the gold miners. Notice the leadership here. Look at the relative strength of Newmont to the S&P 500 and how it is now accelerating. But this leadership position has been in place since mid-2019. This is a beautiful uptrend in this stock and big accumulation or reaccumulation structure for point and figure counting. Okay, here's Barrick Gold, another big institutional favorite. Classic cyclic structure. It's also had a last point of support, which is a higher low on the March liquidity drop. And now it is up and out of its accumulation area. Big count zone for point and figure. Against the S&P 500 it is leadership against its peer group GDX, Barrick is leadership. Wheat and precious metals, same thing, high or low, last point of support, jump up and out, completes the, completes the accumulation area. The relative strength to the S&P is up. The relative strength to the GDX is up. Let's have a look at the dollar. This is a huge trading range in the dollar. Buying climax, automatic reaction, range bound condition since 2008. There has been an attempt since 2018 for the dollar to show strength up and out of this area with a climactic surge in this huge trend channel, look at this, just touches it right there and then reverses back to the old resistance area. It's threatening to come back into the zone. Classic relationship between gold and the dollar is when the dollar's strong, gold tends to be weak. When the gold is strong, the dollar tends to be weak. They have a normal uh, relationship like that. Let's look at what the recent history has held. Again, dollar weak, gold strong. Dollar strong, gold weak. So here we can see that here's the big accumulation that we had just evaluated and the uptrend. Well, something different is happening here. Dollar has been strong since 2018. Gold has been strong since 2018. So if the dollar becomes weak, does gold start to accelerate its uptrend? I'll leave you with that thought for now. Thank you for being here and we will see you next time. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below, maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.